Good evening, and welcome to Shoe Cabinet TV. This is episode 18, and we're naming this episode Watch Your Step. So recently, in the last few weeks, I've noticed quite a few younger people that are coming in, and they're having foot, hip, knee, lower back issues. And after I do a gait assessment, I'm noticing that their arches are kind of rolling in, and we call that term um, pronation. So when that happens, when the foot through, when you do your gait cycle from heel, mid, toe, you roll in a little bit inward, it causes pain on the outside of the foot. So if you notice that, and why I'm gonna bring this to your attention is the young ones are starting to have this more prevalent and they're seeing their pediatric podiatry or orthopedics. So what I'm requesting of you as a mom, an aunt, an uncle, a brother, grandfather, grandmother, is start to watch the young ones because some of this can be prevented with proper shoes. We've talked about this in the past. I'm gonna show you a perfect example. This is a product by Abeo. Nice little sandal, so if those who wanna wear sandals or flip-flops. But this one is okay because this one, as you can see, has arch support. And again, as those who've been watching the shoe cabinet TV know how I want arch support and heel cup because that way when you have the arch support in the heel cup, the foot slides around, but when you do have the heel cup, you're not able to do that. So I have a young person that is a guest of our store who's gonna be an example, and she's gonna just walk real simple, so my request is for all of those families, friends, to start watching the young ones, and if you do notice a gate where they start to come in, sometimes their knees will go inward. Find a store like ours. We are located here in Southern California, Elias Shoes, but there are a lot of stores like this store around the United States and get in and get properly fit for an appropriate product. So I'm gonna ask Miss T to do a simple walk and if you notice that any one of your loved ones has a similar gait or a walk like this, then you need to talk to your healthcare professional to see about correcting that gait because you still have a chance while they're young before it comes a permanent situation with their gait. So we're gonna go ahead, go ahead, Mrs. T. And she's just gonna do a simple walk. And if you notice the knees are coming forward, inward, the ankle bone is rotated inside and the heel rotates out as she walks. So sometimes you can notice the toe will kind of go in. Some people call that pigeon toe, but actually the, the concern is because the gait, the ankle is actually rolling inward, which again is called pronation. So we're gonna have her do it one more time. And then I'm gonna ask her to put on a pair of sandals. This happens to be a pair of Birkenstocks. Go ahead and slip those on so that you can visually see with the heel cup and an arch support how now the inward motion isn't as, as an apparent as it was prior. And actually after a while, some of that discomfort that she has in her heel and her ankle and her knees over time will lessen. The way I feel about arch is gradually increasing the arch support over time, so that way we can get a proper alignment and gait through the foundation of her feet. So this is a perfect example. So if you notice anybody that is rolling a little bit inward like that, please, please make it a point if you notice it for them to talk to their healthcare professional, whether it be an orthopedic, a podiatrist, or uh, let the pediatrician watch them walk and see if it's something that needs to be addressed. Here at Elias Shoes, we have lots of shoes to address that issue. Um, and sometimes it can cause plantar fasciitis as a result of that arch rolling in and that plantar hitting the ground a little more aggressively. So again, arch support and heel cup. So this is one little sandal that you could do, but also there are shoes that are a little dressier. So you don't have to be in a flip-flop 
for those that need to be a little dressier, here is the heel cup and you can see the arch support inside the shoe. And then here's another one, kind of a little dressier. Here in Southern California, we're a little more sandal. So again, here is the heel cup and again, the arch support. I know I keep saying it over and over, but those that wear the appropriate shoe also know that the benefits. Here's a Birkenstock, great product. Again, you can see the arch support and the heel cup. And this one has a really nice deep heel cup so that your foot can't slide around and your uh, heel bone is actually really nice controlled. Here's a really nice also, again, a Birkenstock, a little different styling. And then for men, we do have a large selection of products for both men, women, and children. Again, arch support, heel cup. I know I sound like a broken record, but it's vital that if you do have foot issues that you have arch support and heel cup. Now, say you go to the podiatrist and you don't find any of these shoes that are your liking and the podiatrist decides to give you an insert. We also can accommodate, we have a lot of shoes here in the store where we can take the current insert out if you feel it's necessary and then you can actually put in a custom orthotic or if the doctor prescribes a specific orthotic for your needs. This one happens to be by Taos. This has a really nice, again, it's already built into the shoe, arch support and heel cup. So my request, all of those people out there, is starting to watch people walk, watch the step, and if you do notice the uh, individuals that are rolling in and their knees are kind of knocking, come see a store like ours here in Southern California, Elias Shoes, or find a local store that does and is able to fit your specific needs with, again, arch support and heel cup. So thank you for joining me tonight with episode number 18 on Shoe Cabinet TV, and I look forward to seeing you again for Shoe Cabinet TV number 19. Have a good evening.